In the pursuit of having Barbie-themed science applications, we have a demonstration unit here for a uh, process science course. We're demonstrating uh, convection, natural convection, through a thermal siphon loop from a heat source up to Barbie hot tub. And the Barbie hot tub here is nothing more than a styrofoam box with the top removed. We've got an air motor, a little DC pump air motor that's uh, blowing air in there for the jacuzzi effect. And then what we're having here is a thermal siphon. We put in a little sterno burner, which has been taken out right now. Uh, it ran out of fuel, but it was uh, giving off a lot of heat. And what happens is it heats up the water inside these tubes. The water becomes less dense and therefore lighter and generates less hydrostatic pressure than the cooler water up here. So the greater hydrostatic pressure of the cold water forces that water to go downhill and fill up the tubes in the heat exchanger, displacing the hot water out into the uh, hot tub. And then of course as the cool water enters here, it gets heated up by the sterno burner, becomes lighter, becomes hotter, and the cycle continues. It's an interesting process because we can see the uh, flow rate. Uh, you, you can actually sense it thermally by putting your hand on one hose versus on the other hose when it's running. You can feel a, a tangible difference in temperature. We can also see the temperature rise and fall over time. We can use the uh, peak and min-max mode here on the fluke meter to capture the high and low limits of that temperature. But it's also interesting because thermal siphons sometimes cycle. They were noticing uh, periods of oscillation where sometimes the, the temperature would be rising quickly and other times it would slow down a little bit. Thermal siphons tend to be dynamically unstable like that, which is interesting if you include a thermal siphon in a process system. It adds its own interesting loop instability, which of course is what every girl dreams of when she buys a Barbie doll. So here we go, thermodynamic Barbie.